that being said, it's my favorite time of the show. Don's Dimes. <laughs> I know you guys are looking forward to it. Uh, I'm going to hit you guys with a doozy this week. If you guys were the commissioner of the NFL, commissioner, you're, you're Roger Goodell. Nick, you wake up tomorrow, you're Roger Goodell. Rudy, you wake up tomorrow, you're Roger Goodell. Oh my gosh. You can make one decision to make the NFL game better. Oh Lord, have mercy. What would it be? Why did you do that? Why do you ask Rudy that? We're coming back to the 1960s if you're fucking with Rudy. They're going to be knocking motherfucking heads off. They're going to be crack backing. Quarterbacks are going to be able to get hit everywhere. They don't care. You'll be able to DDT that motherfucker, jump on him. He said one thing. I'm gonna. I, he said one thing. If he gave me like five, then it'd be real easy. But one thing. I mean, I would. I would bring back. I would allow guys to to crack back, crack back and blindside block, which is basically the same thing to me. Removing the blindside block on punts and kickoffs is ridiculous. Interception returns. Like you literally, when you were a football player in the 1990s, hell, early 2000s, you were creaming, foaming at the mouth to have that pick where you could go look for someone to blow up. People watched football for that shit. There's a video called Thunder and Destruction from the 90s I have on VHS. Like, the hitting. Remember when Chad Johnson has that little video where he tried to knock hit Ray, Ray Lewis from the blind mm-hmm. side and end up on his back? Mm-hmm. I tried to hit Ray. He was having fun. But, but think about that. Like every hit that Ray Lewis made for the most part would be a penalty today. Like, th- but but the crack back and the blind side block, which I basically say the same thing. How else can a wide receiver block a D end? He has to blow it. What? Just get in the way? No, I'm gonna blow your ass up. Like that to me is football. Well, I mean. That would be the that is, you said one thing. I think that alone would bring back hitting without calling personal fouls like that. That just that's a hit, man. That's football. You're taught to keep your head on a swivel. If you don't want to get hit, don't play football. Enough already. The game is turning into powder puff. You I, can't hit. You can't. You can't do anything. Quarterbacks can do whatever they want. They don't have any fear of being hit. Patrick Mahomes, you on him. Oh my God, you hit me. Oh my, he skirts the sidelines and manipulates that because if you tap him, he's going to go flying and he'll, he'll, he'll somehow bait a 15 yard penalty, even if he's still in bounds. Like it, it, it's just, that's, but that would be the first thing to crack back. Okay. That, that, that would be the, that would be the, if that's the only thing I can do, as, the crack back blind side block. Boom. As a defense, as a defense, a DB, I'm going to say, fuck you, Rudy, because I don't want to get hit like that. But as a, but you would get to do that on a you would get to do that on an inter, on a, on an interception return or punt team. Oh my gosh, we get one interception a game. I get to do it one chance. Hey, hey, you just, hey one's better than zero. Well, the now you can't do it at all. The offense get to do it sixty plays. No, I don't like the odds on that. If I went to a casino, I would not take the odds on that because that is horrific on my end. But on my end, I'm just gonna tell y'all what I would change would be um. Special teams, bring special teams back to football, man. Um, in the CFL, special teams is big. Um, that's what makes the CFL so great to me in my eyes. People ask me what's the difference between the CFL and the NFL, and I say there's not much of a difference besides the rules. The players, the talent is basically the same, except the trench is a little different. They're bigger, a little bit stronger than the NFL, but the CFL is more of a speed game. Um, but the CFL, you cannot fair catch a punt. You get a five-yard halo, and you have to return it. In the CFL, you return kickoff. You're kicking back from the 30-yard line, but the field is 110 yards, so you cannot kick it out of bounds or do this dumb little thing where they put their hands out. and Yeah, that you, never you, happened back in the day. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? Of- but I know they're talking about all these injuries. I'm moving the, the kickoff back to the 25-yard line or the 20-yard line. I make it to 20. Just to make it interesting so you can't just kick it out the end zone and you have to return it. And if you put it back there, the off, they're going to get to return it and you still get the offense to start at the 30, 35, and now you get more scoring in the NFL. So that will be one of the things. Another thing, you said one, but these damn, I said, I said one. These damn I said quarterbacks, one. I'm tired of them faking like they're going down. Oh, you can't hit them. You probably can hit them. And you have to adjust your defense. You can't even get mad at your DN or your linebacker because if they don't hit them, these quarterbacks are so big, they'll run you over. So if you don't go in with the intent of knocking them out, when they scramble, they will run you over. I got 
It's ran over by a quarter. They are big, and I'm five ten. One. They're they're six four, two fifty, and they get they can't be hit. They <laughs> are running four sixes, four fives. You the power that they're bringing. If you don't come with the intent to knock them out, you're gonna get hurt. So I, I know it's a quarterback league, but I hate that. You said one rule, so I'm going to do special team. I'm sorry. But I just had to well, put it combine on. Combine your special. Tonight. Combine your, your rule with my rule, and then we're good. I hate quarterbacks. So, you know, I got it. I, I got it. I got it. You're not fans of quarterbacks. Because Tua should get $10 million and, and Kirk oh should get $15 million. And Agents hate you. And Daniel and Jones should get $6.3 million. I hate to yeah. count their pockets, but Yeah going by how you play compared to other players that bring more to the team because they are better, like Saquon, who's the heart is and, and soul of that team, who should be getting $30 million, but he does it because he's a running back and running backs get crapped on because they are running backs and their, their lifeline is not that long. Well, pay them early then because you're going to use them up and then you're going to throw them in the toilet after toilet tissue. So... so after you don't wipe, okay, listen, listen, after you don't wipe, we got it. After you don't wipe them <laughs> on your bum for forever, and now it got stains on it. Now you're gonna throw them in the toilet and say you're not worthy. But you used me when you needed me, right? Okay, Nick, okay. Nick, we have to reel you in. Okay, we have to reel you in. Okay, because we're gonna hey, throw in okay. a topic hey, that you want hey, to other discuss. people that are 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 essential to the team. Pay your offensive, your, your tackles, your your. Your centers pay the people who actually are doing things for the team, not just because you're a quarterback. Yeah. You, guys. you do know I have the power to cut your mic 